Everyone loves to talk about what is the best EDC gun, but the reality is the gun doesn't make the man, the man or woe man make the gun. You see, part of what makes people unique is their occupation. So today we're gonna to be looking at six different occupations to figure out what is the best EDC gun for that occupation. The engineer. A veterinarian. A pimp. The detective. The art student. And the Amazon delivery driver. All right, we're here in Phoenix at Pistol Parlor. And the rules are simple, guys. Jake and I are each gonna pick a firearm that fit said occupation. And we're gonna pull a judge from hopefully a customer in the shop and have him judge which pistol fits accordingly. Right, um, you can play along with us in the comments, vote who did it better, me or Chris, on the six different categories. Let's freaking get into it. All right, up first is the engineer. Best EDC gun for an engineer. So an engineer, if we think about what an engineer is, they're analytical, usually fairly successful. They like mechanical things, right? Because they build stuff. I think we got to go to the vault next door. Who is an engineer? An engineer is someone who likes things that are made properly, that are made to spec. You would have to assume that Chris knows this, but he doesn't seem to be thinking this way. Attached to Pistol Parlor is the vault where they keep all the high-end shit. Engineers are high-end. They like high-end mechanical shit. He needs a nice 1911. I'm looking for an EDC gun for an engineer. An engineer? Yes. And really, especially with my pick here, one of the things that HK told us is their engineers ask how long it needs to last and then build the gun backwards that way, right? So for an engineer, I don't think there's any more fitting than a HK VP9 tactical. An engineer carries nice, they, they make money, they like nice mechanical things, they seem to need a nice 1911 in their life. But they're also, but they're also practical, so they need capacity. So I need a nice 2011. Great, this is great. It's like a concierge gun service. This is fantastic. See, this is the good stuff in life. Chris is over there probably getting like a Glock 19. Oh, I've just been trying to make a couple extra bucks working behind the gun counter again. Engineer, I don't think there's any more fitting than a HK VP9 tactical. Several reasons. One, the engineering. Two, most engineers, especially if they're software or electrical engineers, want to keep up with the times technologically, right? This is already cut for an optic. Oh, no, not a BDS nut. It is, the commander. Oh, hot damn. And that's a good carry length, too. Okay, now we're talking. The downside for you is it's not lefty for me. I don't care. It's <laughs> for a right-handed guy, probably. Son of a bitch. You don't need it. <laughs> Chris is showing Chris up because he just... has no creativity. He's probably over there getting a, getting a Springfield or some shit. And they're going to appreciate the engineering that goes into suppressors. So therefore, best gun for an engineer to EDC, HK VP9 tactical. Okay, so we're here with an actual engineer. Funny. Yes. It's best EDC for an engineer and we happen to snag an engineer in the shop, so it works. So very simply, all you gotta do is per, you just have to vote on who picked out the best EDC gun for an engineer. You wanna go ahead? Yeah, so we've done some work with HK. Mm -hmm. Uh, one of the things that HK engineers first like to start with is how long does the item need to last? And then they build the gun backwards from there, right? As an engineer yourself, I'm sure you enjoy fine engineering and craftsmanship, which is why I went with an HK VP9 tactical. Also, most engineers like to stay up with the times technologically. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you're that way, correct? Yep, Yeah. definitely. This is cut for a red dot straight out of the box. And then also another cool engineering thing we do in the firearms community is suppressors. Mm -hmm. You're a big suppressor guy, right? Correct. Got a couple of them? Got a couple. So not only a highly good engineered gun for an engineer, we can get a nice suppressor that's engineered properly for an engineer and an optic engineered properly for an engineer. It's kind of hard to beat, okay. right? Okay. Yeah. I mean, do you even want to see his? <laughs> you can say no. You gotta, you gotta be fair, let's see all the options on the table here. Well, that was a snooze fest, my friend. Oh, okay, so oh, now let's talk to you about real things. Engineers like fine things and mechanical things. I present to you Nighthawk BDS9 Compact. That's the carry edition right there, boys. Here's, here's the deal. You're a successful guy, right? Like you like nice stuff. I saw a couple of your guns recently. Like you like nice stuff, right? That's about as good as it gets. This is about as good as it gets. I have the full size of this. And I'm not saying we would be shooting the same gun, but it almost like we'd be kind of connected and related. Like sure. it's like yeah. lifelong friends. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've got the full size. I didn't even know that they made a compact version of this. So when I saw the compact, I was like, that's it. 
for Charles, that's it. You, you cannot do better than that. It has all the high-end mechanical things. It's gonna break in well over time. They even have the iOS cut on this interchangeable optic system. So this with iron sights looks really freaking stupid. This looks really freaking stupid, right? I'm sorry, is this a, like, is this the, the, the Mayflower with like a, a sail no, on the back No, this is called suppressor height sights and they're engineered uh, specifically so you can see over your suppressor and also through your optic. Okay, yeah, all right. So with Fair. this, I can choose, do I want to run irons? Do I run, want a red, uh, a red dot? It's real simple, right? This is the pinnacle of engineering right here, my friends. Just remember, hmm multiple international government contracts mm -hmm. due to the high level of engineering, zero government contracts. That is a big Just plus. Just keep that in mind. Are you American? That's a big plus. <laughs> that, is, that is a big plus. See, that you guys are... But our special operations guys also carry <laughs> HK, so like they're American, right? So. I mean, I took took it all in. I think you guys did a you know pretty fair job on both sides explaining it, but I think the, uh, the trump card for me is definitely gonna be the... Uh, the Gucci tier factor, uh, I think overall, <laughs> you just gotta, you gotta so go So it has nothing hockey. to do with <laughs> engineering. I mean, it, it, oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> it's just because so it's more expensive. You, make a you literally just fire. said well, it's more expensive, well, therefore it's missing, better. He, he didn't quite quote it here, but one gun, one gunsmith, gunsmith. The, the craftsmanship, the- His initials the, under, underneath the grips. Yeah, I mean, uh, you already I, made up your I mind. Think, yeah, I think I'm going to justify yeah, it. Yeah, the Nighthawk for not a sure. bad person because you went with the with the correct <laughs> answer but, here. Go ahead and lose my gun. phone number. Great. Go ahead and lose my phone number. <laughs> Great gun. All right, moving on. <laughs> Next category. Chris, a shop this classy uh, probably would carry like leather oh, belts or something. I would recommend they should check out carrying some Segura belts here. We're happy to connect them. Um, great belts. Light inner Velcro is on these hips right now. Um, and I love it. Um, for some reason my carry gun sitting right here, but that's what uh, is in my light inner Velcro belt. What are you, uh, what else they got? I am also wearing the light inner belt as my EDC belt, but it, it has double duty guys. This layers with my battle belt or the battle wagon from Segura. Our code 1911 Syndicate saves you 10% off and get all your belt needs there. Whether it's EDC, dress, the emissary belt, a little more stiff, gonna hold your pants up a little bit better, but it's just all black, very clean and classy. They got all the options you want. Check them out, guys. Uh, do you like animals? Uh, a couple of them, just dogs, really. Yes, but bad animals, uh, not so much. Correct. But uh, now we're gonna look at the best EDC gun for a veterinarian. Very interesting here. Very interesting. See how this pans out. Who is a veterinarian? We'll have to get into that later. Yeah, the veterinarian that I chose. We'll have to get into that a little bit later. Here's the deal. A veterinarian. Oh, now this screams. I might have to shoot a horse. Okay, here's the deal. Chris will never think about this. A veterinarian, the biggest threat they're gonna face on a daily basis is a rogue animal, not a person. A person's not gonna attack a vet. A vet helps animals, but if a horse gets crazy, you gotta put that horse down, right? So you need something in a big caliber because it's gotta run the gamut from, you might have to put down a hamster and you might have to put down a grizzly if someone had a pet grizzly that they brought in for service or, or vet services, however that shit works. All right, so the vet that I am choosing for is a vet that I grew up with. His name's Dr. Palmer and he is a livestock agricultural vet, okay? So he's not doing house cats and dogs. He's doing horses, wild animals with rabies, bird control, like pest control on farms. Burn it down on that, that animal. <laughs> yeah, this is my pick. Yeah. Okay. So this is a real guy, right, Jaden? Yeah. I've you know who I'm talking about? Yeah. I've Dr. Palmer? Yeah. He EDCs and carries every day because he's going farm to farm to farm to work with animals. A double barrel shotgun, which is what we're going with today. What, what the hell is this thing called? Ruger. Back. Back Greek. Vaquero, Vaquero, Ruger Vaquero. There we go. In 45 long cold. Oh, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, it does. So for me, this is built off a real doctor that I know, Dr. Palmer, that EDC's a double barrel shotgun everywhere as a pet. Okay, so here we are, um, presenting with our friend Eddie here. Best EDC gun for a veterinarian. Okay. All right, let's Michael see what we got. Yeah, go ahead, yeah. <laughs> Here's something real funny here. Jake, I, I know what you're looking for, dude. Come here. What? Here. <laughs> he what? can't even find his own guns. They didn't tell me that they moved. <laughs> he can't even find his own guns. Because he's used to <sighs> so well. Okay. I want to tell you about this, okay? Here's the deal. 
That's the best EDC gun a veterinarian could ever get. Want me to tell you why? Yes, I do. Okay. Because I see your judgment. <laughs> I'm what's judging the, pretty hard right now. What's the biggest threat that a vet would face? An animal attacking. Man or animal? Animal. Animal. Okay. So, they're not going to get attacked. Everyone loves a vet. They help animals, right? So, they're not going to get attacked by a person. A thug would never attack a vet. They're like, oh, he helps little dogs. You know, we're not going to attack that guy. But... What if an animal goes rogue? Apparently okay. he's a vet in 1820 also. Yeah. So. No, here's the deal. Vets have to deal with a wide ranging size of animal, right? So what if a corgi goes rogue? <laughs> okay. Because I have a corgi. Not a okay. with His some... corgi's not well behaved. What if that dog goes rogue, right? You gotta be able to handle, you gotta be able to handle yeah. shit, right? But what if a freaking bear attacks you? Right? A bear. Big caliber. It's 45 cal. Is this okay. guy working at the zoo? It's also, Apparently. this is a Ruger Vaquero. Okay. It's very nice. It actually, it actually feels very nice in the hand. You can't even But here's it, the right? deal vets also big outdoorsmen, right? So the vet might be riding on a horse and then someone attacks or animal attacks, burn it down, right? Just send it on this bad boy. This All will right. put down a wide range of animals, perfectly safe beefy caliber it will put down anything from corgi up to a megalodon okay <laughs> and you won't beat that you won't beat that very, whatever he did makes yeah. a very valid point but i am curious to see <clears throat> well eddie this is a, a farming community here right uh -huh. and i grew up with a, a veterinarian dr palmer is his name now he wasn't just any vet he was a large livestock and farm veterinarian oh, wow. okay so horses cows rabid coyotes even pigeons on farms, they cost millions of dollars in damage and feed on mm, farms. Okay. So I asked him, consulted with him, mm -hmm. right? Ooh, Best EDC for vets. And consult with no one. <coughs> oh, barrel no. Shotgun. Okay. EDC? So these guys are usually driving in their truck, farm to farm to farm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is like, oh, how's he going to conceal that? Every day <laughs> carry. Doesn't say every day concealable, correct? Yeah. Right? You see where I'm going with this? This can do bird shot for the pigeon problem. We can do buck shot for putting down a rabid buck, a rabid deer, you name it. We can also throw a slug in here. So if a horse is getting a little squirrely, right? Gotta put down a horse. Yeah. This is your guy. Uh, you remember, same age here, Napoleon Dynamite? Yeah. You I remember do. the scene with the kids on the bus yeah. where that, that rabid Maybe. cow got out of control? Yeah. Exactly. What did he use? He used a shotgun. To what? The cow's face. Yes. Okay. So, thank, for a thank large you for livestock the veterinarian, yeah. Yeah. this is the best EDC by far. What if you go into Walmart? He's, he's on a farm. Where's a Walmart on a farm? Do you know of any Walmarts on farms? Model 40. No, they grow their food there. So why would you go to Walmart? Get a soft drink. You got soft drinks on the farm. It's called water. <laughs> we drink it from the well. <laughs> this is not what water is. Water and soft drink are two different things. This is a hard man. He only drinks water, sir. That and black coffee. Look, it's a very <laughs> bipolar choice here that you're being faced with, right? Yet very similar. These are both really good, uh, for you, I've got to say. And you both uh, present a very good case. If he is to go out and about into, you know, the city or whatever, generally we carry them for like a small thing. Do you really want to go in there without a gun? He is 400 miles from civilization. It's not true. Oh, it's not true. He's not going in. What farm are we on? I was exactly. Montana, you ever been? Didn't think so. I have. Continue. I have. Oh, have you? All right, out of spite, Jake. There you go. <laughs> there it is. All right, thanks. There it is. <laughs> this is going well, everyone. Challenge. Burn it down. Dude, just slap that hammer, let it rip. Smoke that alligator to the face. <laughs> that right there, the vaquero. That's your winner. Detectives. They are interesting profession. Yeah. A lot of ways you can go in this. A lot of, lot of ways. I mean, you can go in this. Pretty, pretty set on that I'll be winning just because i uh, got a great choice for a detective. Well, I don't know what my choice is. i got to think about this. For that... We're going next door. Detective, I don't know. I don't know that. So what is a detective, right? At this point in this officer slash detective's career, he's probably a little bit older, 35, maybe 40, been making some money for a little bit, right? He's not a beat cop. He's got a couple kids that, you know, maybe one or two divorces he's got to figure out. But he's really big on 
what is the word? Nostalgia. See, this detective, his grandfather was a Texas Ranger in 1835. Great, great grandfather. His great grandfather was also a Texas Ranger. Grandfather, dad, now he's a police officer here in Arizona. Reason being is he wanted to be a Texas Ranger, but when he came to ASU, saw the beautiful women that were in his classes, he got married and settled here in Mesa, Arizona. So he got the perfect gun for this guy, okay? That gun. The detective, so interesting, because you can go old school, you can go retro, he's wearing a suit, he's he's burning down a camel light, right, drinking on the job, like you can do, he's taking money under the table, that detective. So that gun, um, again, paying homage to the Texas Ranger lineage that this individual has, is gonna be an updated sidearm that a Texas Ranger would carry back then, which would be a 1911, but we're in the 21st century. Or you can go modern day, right, he's a family man, got a couple kiddos, he's trying to get through college, so he makes decent money. He's been on the force for 15 years. Marriage is probably struggling a little bit. Got a little money, not too much. What does he need? He carries openly. He's a detective. He doesn't have to IWB the thing. Eddie, can you pull out that Nighthawk, please? Yes, sir. Yep, that's exactly it. So as I was saying, and let's look at this under some beautiful light here. Make sure we're clear and safe. So the detective, Chose this one because of the little throwback to the Texas Rangers. Two, updated version being in the 21st century, nine millimeter double stack. And also the detective has a little flair, a little more personality than you would think. And he liked the, uh, the benefits of a titanium nitride barrel, but also aesthetically how it looks. USB compact all day with the L-E-M, law enforcement modification trigger. Money. This is also cut for a red dot, because again, his grandpa, great grandpa, great great grandfather ran iron sight, 1911s. This is red dot cut, so we can bring him to the 21st century. Throw that on an outside the waistband leather holster. Perfect detective gun. Okay, so the occupation is a detective, right? AKA law enforcement detective. Best EDC gun for a detective. Uh, I think you're up first. Sure, time. sure. What Jake uh, didn't tell you though, is this detective has a long family lineage in police work. His great-great-grandfather was a Texas Ranger. Great-grandfather, grandfather were both Texas Rangers. When he came to Arizona to get his degree at ASU, he fell in love and ended up staying here. He is still a law enforcement officer detective though. Yeah, this right? is a fictional story to see. No, this is a true, this is a true character, Derek Chewy. Tale. Derek Chewy for Mesa, this is a true story. Um, do you know what Texas Rangers carried? No. No? If you were a cop, you'd probably want the blessing of previous people, right? To help you in your law enforcement career. But it is the 21st century. So this detective, being a little bit further in his career, making a little bit more money, carries a Nighthawk. Outrageous. Okay. Reason being, again, he wanted to pay homage to the Texas Ranger 1911, but bring it to the 21st century, right? And detectives make pretty good cash, right? Do they? They do, yeah. Did you not know that? To find pretty good cash, I guess. More than you. Hmm. So, you, you ready to move on? Yeah. Sure. Okay, yeah. cool. This is also because it's the 21st century red dot cut, right? Because we got to throw a, a red dot on there. So again, just some class, some added style, paying homage to his great grandfather, his dad, that were both Texas Rangers carrying 1911s. He goes with the 2011. Throws it outside the waistband leather holster. Good to go. So, good pick. What's yours? I can tell you all the reasons he picked the incorrect gun for that, but I'll just show you what he should pick. So, here's the deal. That's an HK USP Compact with the LEM trigger. You know what that is? Law enforcement modification, okay? This is literally made for law enforcement. Here's how this works, just make sure we don't, you know, dumb, right? Cool, clear, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah right? So basically, the LEM trigger works like this, right? It's double action only. So there's a lot of take up, but there's no weight to it, right? So you just go right to the wall, trigger breaks. If the round, hypothetically ammo related malfunction, you just keep pulling the trigger till it goes off. You just go to heavy double action, literally made for law enforcement officers. Except it's German made, so you know it's gonna work. What Chris has decided to pick is, that is known as a competition gun, a race gun. Not really the kind of thing you see in a law enforcement circle. They can carry staccatos, they don't carry staccato XCs, and that's just a $6,000 staccato XC. This detective doesn't really have to carry concealed, but it would also be definitely carrying that concealed. But 
if he did want to carry concealed because he's just like whatever out with family or something protecting the kids or something on a saturday that's a lot well, then easier he would to conceal be a detective then he would be a dad on his weekend with the kids correct yeah and he's welcome to hmm. also be a human being outside of just being a remember detective. this was for detective work on duty right nine mil 13 run capacity excellent gun i own a usp myself never had a malfunction on it nine mil 21 round capacity so what do we got uh i'm gonna go with the nighthawk because i carry a full size Damn it. i've always known <laughs> i liked you <laughs> It was definitive. I mean, you really went for it quickly, too. Like, you didn't even really... I'm not an HK fan. Well, damn it. <laughs> and I shoot competition, so race guns are, uh... Well, fuck me, then. <laughs> That's how that one went. You're the man. Thank you, dude. Ways to support the channel. Um, hey, Patreon's actually a really good option. Uh, we have people coming out from the Patreon community today to film with us. Videos like this are fun, because, hey, who knows? We might be in your city, and we might be putting out the bat signal on Patreon saying, hey, if anyone's local... We need a judge to come determine who had the uh, best gun for a pimp. That'll be coming later in the video. But uh, we're also a real estate company. You can go to 1911syndicate.com. Check that out. We work in all the different states. Appreciate the support. On with the show. Okay, one of the most popular or probably, I mean, yeah, popular professions in the U.S. right now. Amazon delivery driver. Got the perfect gun for something like that. I do not. We're going to see, though. Very a lot, a lot of people doing that. So, all right, let's see. Okay. I mean, they deal in a lot of boxes, you know? That is their job, boxes. So it's only fitting we get a gun that reminds them of boxes. Amazon delivery driver. Here's one thing. Based on where they live, they're gonna be exposed to a lot of different elements, right? Because they're gonna have to deal with cold, rain, snow, super hot. Um, also, some risk of animals. So we have to factor in animal factors here it just needs to work it needs to work because they probably piss a lot of people off so they are probably fairly likely to be in a shooting i don't know the stats on that i'm just spitballing here though Glock 19 x too easy I, I mean it will pain me to pick a glock but that's kind of what they need it's just like a glock I, I don't know that i can bring myself to actually pick that though it feels sacrilegious uh, so it would seem that the obvious answer here is a sig 365 probably the xl boxes like, it's reliable it's big enough to be able to like get into some shit if you needed to but it's also compact enough that they could just edc that taking packages on and off people's doorsteps um it's a nine right it's not a week 380 round or something like that it's not a glock so it's automatically better um yeah 365 all the boxes yeah help yourself okay cool so the next occupation we have up is a amazon delivery driver and we we got a customer in store who graciously is going to let us pitch our ideas to him and uh let's do the dang thing okay uh, i went first last time so you go ahead okay I'm up first, so let me show you what I got. You shoot, you shoot much? Uh, actually, about two times a week. Yeah. Oh, okay. you shoot a lot. All right, that's a three sixty, a Sig three sixty five XL. That is well, frankly, it doesn't even function apparently because he can't get the mag out. So like it's a stiff, it's a stiff slide. So this is a great carry gun for anyone. Hell, I carried one for like three years until I switched to carrying in 1911. Amazon delivery driver. Think about it. One, they're going to be delivering packages in all kinds of different weather. Right, so they can't have a gun that's finicky, that's like picky on, oh, it needs oil, and if it's cold, it's gonna dry up and everything. It just needs to work. Striker fire gun, definitely the route that you should go. The real debate is, hey, are they just leaving it in the truck, or are they carrying it on their body as they're delivering packages? Which I think they should, because they're showing up at people's doorsteps. You get some drunk guy start sending rounds through the door or some, you know, dog starts attacking them or something. So I'm like, okay, can't be but so big or it's going to be obtrusive. They're not going to want to carry it. Perfect carry size. You can also swap out the, the frame to, you know, like you can kind of mix and match these if you want. Purposely, I don't want a red dot on it because if it's raining, if they're going from cold to hot and everything, those windows can fog up quite a bit. So iron sights only uh good capacity super reliable that's a damn fine carry gun for anyone but definitely an amazon delivery driver 
But keep in mind, he said not a red dot. Correct? Yeah. Uh, so why would he waste their money by buying the red dot version? That's how it comes. It shows that, he that he's even not that. economical. There's not a non red dot cut version of the 365 there is. XL. There is. There's not. Of the 365, okay. there is. He doesn't know anything about guns. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I'm up? Now? Sure, yeah. Okay. Yeah. When you think of Amazon, what do you think of? Boxes. Packages, Packages, delivering door to door, boxes, driving everywhere. Yeah. What color are the boxes they usually use? Brown. Brown. Or tan. Tan, brown. Oh, you mean like the color of my frame? Reason I went with a Glock 19X here is doesn't it look like a brown box? It does. Doesn't it kind of have that same like one too. Amazon color scheme to it, right? With yeah. You know how they use the black tape? Yep. Right, little hints of black. Again, a gun that needs to function all the time, never have a malfunction, that is concealable. This is concealable, especially in their outfits, right? They wear the short shorts, but they have the baggy button ups, right? Don't think of that. So I think really their personality is boxes. Boxes. You said this reminds you of a box. He right? picked a gun based on the color of cardboard. Well, I mean, it's Are their you job. Kidding me? Right, it's their job. They're passionate about boxes. Their whole They're life not. revolves around boxes. They're not. They're, They're not, not passionate about boxes. A gun that looks like a box, that is colored like a box, is mm -hmm. the perfect choice. That's insanity. It's insanity. It's the dumbest argument I've ever heard in my entire life. I mean, but if you do know, they are super reliable. So is that. They're not known to jam. And also, Neither does a SIG. we don't say prices at all, but yeah. I am trying to save this guy some money because they don't get paid very often. Yeah, really big EDC gun for like little ladies deliver Amazon packages often. Big carry gun. I mean, I would say the only difference would be compact. This is a lot bigger than your SIG. Right. But if it was me, I got big hands. Yeah. And I know I could draw this way easier than I could draw this. Are you a delivery driver? But I'm not. But he's not. But I mean, yeah. you, you, you know, you're a man, man. A lot of men deliver Amazon packages. You're probably similar, right? Yeah. How many females? I don't think I've ever really seen a female. My man. You're just not looking hard. Don't, don't, don't shake his hand. Don't shake his hand. He's trying to bribe you. Honestly, if I had to choose, I'd probably just go with the Glock 19. Boxes. Again, let me shake that hand, brother. Appreciate you. You made the right choice today. It, now I would buy this gun, but I would go with it. But not for the occupation, right? Yeah, this is a better occupation, occupation gun. Sure. Yeah. So thanks for jumping in the so video. Do I get too. a discount now? <laughs> Here's the funny thing: we don't even work here. We don't even <laughs> work here. <laughs> no. We're just here filming for the YouTube channel. Hey, do I get a discount? No, I'm just kidding. We. All right, category number two is going to be the art student. Not really what I would call a profession, but at the same time, most of them don't get jobs. So maybe being a professional student kind of is their job. Ah, uh, that's. Very fair point. Okay, let's go find an art student gun here. Okay, I really don't know the direction I'm going on this, if I'm being honest. Um, this was the one that I struggled with. Art students ain't got no money, okay? They're fucking art artists. They're artists don't make no money. Um, so it cannot be expensive. They just would not have a budget for it. And truthfully, highly unlikely, they're going to wind up in a self-defense shooting. So I don't even know that it needs to be that reliable. And I definitely, an art student is not going to invest time into training and practicing so much. So they don't need something that has a lot of failure points, which tells me revolver, revolver. And it needs to be small because art students are dainty. Like they carry handbags and shit like that. So it needs to be a compact. 38 special, that's what we need here. Oh, I'm going to another section of the store. So we're coming over to the higher end side of Pistol Parlor called the Vault at Pistol Parlor. The reason being is our art student, his parents knowing he's gonna be a failure in life and they're worth some Skrilla, they're gonna pay for his, uh, his first gun ever. So he has a unlimited budget because he is a struggling art student. So, sir, can I check out a gun over here, please? Absolutely. I feel like I know what you're going for. I think I'd like to see that Wilson combat. <laughs> I knew it. Um, I didn't even leave the revolver cabinet. I looked for the cheapest revolver that I could find to represent the budget of the art student and 38 special. That way if shit pops off, they can also run 357. That would mean my friends, we got a Taurus revolver coming up. So clearly for an art student, he's gonna want some art on his gun, right? This has some level three laser engraving. What would we call that pattern there, sir? So, if you don't mind, if I correct you, it's not, that one's actually hand engraved. It's oh, this isn't lasered? No, that is done by hand. So they call it level three I thought three it was level three laser engraving. Mm -hmm. My no, bad. just by how much engraving gets put on the firearm. Oh, So okay. they use a guy by the name of Wade D'Angelo for their engraver. Would you say Wade is an artist? 100%. Would you say Wade would carry this gun himself? 
Yeah, absolutely, because he has a lot of guns like that. So you would say this is probably a good pick for an artist? Yeah, 100%. I think I got this one in the bag. You wanna go first, or me go first? No, go ahead. I didn't leave this section of the store, I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah. Okay, because I happened to be standing here, and once we said art student, I thought, well, art student ain't got no money, right? He ain't got no money. It's fair. What are you gonna get him a nice gun? <laughs> with what budget? What budget? What, what are they using their salary at Trader Joe's to go get like a 2011? No, oh, that's not how it works, right? So it has to be cheap, and it also has to be, if we think about it, you're still so gonna get smoked on this. Art student does not invest time into training. They're not getting a bunch of rounds to go practice with. They're not doing classes, none of that. So need very little in the way of failure points. They're not practicing stoppage drills and how to get a stove pipe out of there. My friends, the points. very clear answer here is a Taurus 38 Special, okay? This is the answer right here, okay? It is, I'm not gonna say the price because YouTube's a funny place. It is very fairly priced, okay. very fairly priced, okay? I can put this in a little dainty bag if I'm a little art student girl and I got my little fanny pack, right? I can mm -hmm. just toss this in there, very safe. It There's almost nothing to go wrong. It's quality because it's Taurus, but that also means it doesn't come at a huge price tag. This oh. is what an art student needs. Gun store 101, put it on a bag. Yeah. Sure, very yeah. simple. Yeah, I don't know, I don't work gun store. <laughs> So, Taurus is the answer. <clears throat> okay. Well, how many, how many splatter paintings do you think you'd have to sell to afford one of those? <laughs> you know, um, I think if you did one art show, like on a weekend at a farmer's market or something, I think if you have a decent amount of talent, you would be able to cover the cost of that. Sure, sure. <laughs> yeah. Well, much like, uh, did you ever go to college, Charles? I have been to college. Did you graduate? I did graduate. Did you get a graduation present? Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, most people, when they go to college, they get a graduation present, right? <laughs> We can assume that most liberal arts people, probably mommy and daddy have a little bit of money and they can probably afford a higher end, nicer graduation present, right? Now, much like he said, this student is not gonna shoot a lot, not gonna train a lot. They're looking more for aesthetics, a piece of art, if you will, right? And since there's no budget, cause mom and dad bought it, present to you a Wilson Combat with some beautiful so stupid. level three engraving. Cause again, mom and dad bought it. This is so stupid. They asked him what he wanted. And as an artist, he said, this is the most beautiful work of art I've ever seen as an artist. And I would like that for my graduation. Class. Damn. In 45? Too. So a Wilson combat, no nine mil, single stack. Okay. CQB elite with level three engraving. CQB, do you know a lot of art students that do CQB? So, oh no, that's just the, the model. Okay. Yeah, he, he's not, not really a shooter. Right. much as he litigated already. It's just the model name, mm. so. Well, this is probably the worst decision I've ever seen you make, and I've seen you make some bad ones. Um, Again, art for an art student. The only thing, the and, and this is not an influence, but I don't want your previous vote to influence how you pick on this. <laughs> um, if I can see that. You know? How you funny <laughs> that now the rules change honestly. for Jay. No, 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 you vote honestly here is all I'm saying. There has to be some assumptions, like, you know, we, we, several of the pitches included that, you know, there's this like infinite income or behind this purchase, right? Or just this like, it's a graduation present. Yeah. It's, you know, something like that, right? Yeah. So. Cause you yourself. I have, to, I have to think, I have to say that for my initial instinct, it's going to be like, what do our students carry? I, I picture some type of weird satchel and like, you know, yes. and uh, it's typically not very large depending mm -hmm. on what they do. I don't know if they're carrying like their easel or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My paintbrushes, limited knowledge like with that. Bag. Right. Yeah. 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 Uh, so yeah. the wheel, see the thing with wheel guns is that I feel like it takes a little bit more of a brain for them to kind of like operate. And they don't really have what? much of one. You huh? hold the trigger. Well, uh, it's just there's, no there's safety like there's a it. more mechanical component to Correct. it. Correct. Like there's this more steps. <laughs> I mean, you're you're an engineer and you've graduated college. But I know that those are touted for reliability as well, and you know, just like hey, kind of two world wars. Son. But here's one factor too. That's double action, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, you can also. I feel like their fingers are weak. They're not going to be able to pull that trigger back. Cock the hammer. Whereas, whereas <laughs> hammer a, back. a nice 1911 has that crisp, nice trigger. So someone with weaker strength. Look at, you're selling yourself on this, dude. It's also called an ND. They're going to- This one's harder that. than the other one because the art profession aspect of it. 
Um, but for art, I think beauty, I think somebody's gonna spend a little bit more and maybe, so I I kind of have to go with this. Oh, that's such horse shit. I just have <laughs> That's to. such horse shit. I just like, because of the premise of like, they, they care about that's the terrible. way things look. They're not thinking about utility. Engineer is utility, functionality. This is more you made aesthetic. the right choice. I, I mean, I just, it, you made it, the right choice. I have no. terrible. This whole thing, the system is rigged, right? I want to recount. Like, <laughs> this is the state that messed that up. Right, your so. state screwed it up and I want to recount. <laughs> All right, finale. Let me tell you something. Pimp shit. Pimp shit. That's who we're gonna pick out a gun for. Pimps. A pimp is gonna need a gun with a little bit of flash. That seems like a foregone conclusion. Um, they're really not even worried about it being legal because nothing they do is legal. All right, so the best gun for a pimp, in my opinion, from the two pimps that I that I know of, they like to be a little flashy, a little over the top, which is shocking for someone that's gonna do that occupation, right? Um, my guy has like 13 kids, like 10 different people he works with. And um, you know, he, he wants to be a little flashy, but also show that he's serious. So I don't think they care about it being reliable at all. I think they want something that looks cool, that's expensive, that's a statement piece. That's about it, man. Pimps, simple people, good people. I, you know, a lot of good pimps out there. Who is a pimp? I always think of Dave Chappelle and his skits. So that's like, I'm so messed up right now because that's my idea of a pimp. The one and only option for our pimp is a Korth revolver. Okay, reason being is he can put a red dot on it, he can put a laser with the beams on there. He can put a flashlight. But also, a big thing is intimidation, right? Trying to get money. I don't know if anything's more intimidating than a Korth revolver. Desert Eagle. Desert Eagle. So that is the one and only option. I mean, it, it's almost like I don't even need to look at anything else at this point. I will, but I feel like I don't need to. She think about it, too. Pimps wearing big old suits and everything, like they've got plenty of space to be able to throw the eagle in there. Eddie, my friend, let me tell you who I think, how I think of you as a pimp. Oh shoot, all right. <laughs> so this is best EDC gun for a pimp. I'll show you the end. And I see what you picked and that's... Pretty badass. It's, bad it's ass a very it fitting one. It's Remember, pretty, it's supposed to be EDC. It's a pretty uh, badass gun. Because let me tell you what pimps don't care about. The law. <laughs> they don't care about the law. Yeah. They're like, they could throw this in a hill people chest rig if they wanted to. Um, or I holster? get a holster made yeah. for yeah. it. Um, if they get into some shit, it's going to be with some powerful people that probably also have a lot of stopping power. So 50, yeah, 50. Just because if you're going to shoot someone, make sure they go down. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Um, Pimp also cares about looking good, being stylish, making a statement. I cannot think of a better statement EDC gun than the Desert Eagle. And if you want to, just for shits and gigs, as the kids say, throw a T2 on it. Throw a T2 on there. On a Unity riser. I don't give a shit. Do whatever you want depending that makes on, you happy. Depending on the pimp, it might be a beam. A what? A don't. beam? Yeah, he doesn't even know what that is. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he doesn't even know what that is. Yeah, no, you could do that though. Um, <laughs> we could ask that every now and again. That, that's, a, that's an option. So I present to you the perfect EDC gun for a pill. And I think Dave Chappelle would say that was impractical, too heavy. That's too heavy to wear in my outfit. You know what I'm saying? He would not be very happy about that. <laughs> what he would be happy about is a Korth revolver. Because one thing that they like to do with their cars, their clothing, right? You see where I'm going with this? Is yeah. make a statement. This gun without a red dot, which it can accept, without a beam, which again it can accept, makes a statement. And a big thing, especially when they're trying to collect money, is intimidation. That's true. For me, <laughs> that is far more of an intimidating, aesthetically looking gun than just a giant block of steel. You see what I'm saying? Are you kidding me? The lines add a lot of flair to it, almost like a grill. You see, you see where I'm going with this? I can, word grill, I can see. Right? A lot of them like to talk with their hands. This is much easier to talk with your hands than that, just because of the weight. <laughs> yeah. if, you want, if you run out of rounds, you can beat someone to death with this in one blow. I mean, that's now, now, he doesn't like to do that, though, because then that's a customer lost. But this is just perfect enough to add a little 
extra velocity to kind of wake someone up, but not yeah. ruin a, a good paying customer. <laughs> That's yeah, Turkish okay. walnut. You don't want to damage Turkish walnut. And what do they love? Turkish walnut, dude. He just sold it for me. We both know this because of the two pimps that we know. Or of. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I think the choice is pretty clear. So here's how I see this. Yeah. This is like traditional pimp. This is like new age pimp. Okay. It he's, is the 21st he's century. pretty hip and is now in with the times. The times. And if he wants to be different, he'd want that. Yep. You're assuming he wants to be different. Pimp's a pretty old school job. Yeah, but Literally, they all want to be unique and different. What's the oldest profession in the world? You know, know the answer? It wasn't a pimp. Hookers. Yeah. Who manages them? Pimps. Well, pimps were invented in the 1940s, so you're wrong on that, sir. You don't know that whatsoever. God, this gun's nice. I really like it. I think you know the, <laughs> this the is right hard choice. because these are both really good options. I really like this. I think I have to go iconic pimp, I'm sorry. The the deagle, as they say. Deagle. Deagle. <laughs> That's what's up. That's so stupid. I'm sorry. We end the day. You know time. how much I love those guns, but when I picture Dave Chappelle as a pimp, I do see him. With yes, that. is what I'm saying. More so than this? Yes. When he's like, Rick James. They Doesn't need, that? Need this more is the epitome of that. Yeah, that's too heavy and unwieldy. Rick James. He made his decision. Stop trying to. See what I'm saying? He made his decision. I, I can see both. But like it has said, a grill. I, I sat there and You're deliberated good man. for a while. You're a good man. You're a good man. <laughs> You're a good man. You're a good man. Okay. I do like Pimp that he shit. confirms my decision. Okay, end of the day. Tie, 3-3. Three, three. I mean, man. Good job. You, you know what? It was, an, it was, was a, a, it was a semi competition. Uh, uh, it was fairly honorable competition. Yeah. Um, three and three, I can live with that, knowing that we did our best. Um, I'm glad I won the pimp competition. Yeah, that that is legit the only one I, I wanted to win. Yeah. Um, however, the ones I did win are still a good W. So. Yeah, solid. So. Um, oh. I hesitate to say this, but if you were a pimp and in a legally justified shooting, which probably is not the case. That sounds okay. a little oxymoronic to me, but, um, it but if you were, wasn't. But let's just say uh, uh, a pimp decides I'm going to go a different path in life, right? No, Changes his life. life. They become religious. They become a good man. Absolutely. They've integrated into society, um, celibacy, all of that. Um, they would probably want a service called Firearms Legal Protection. It's basically like CCW insurance for legally justified scenarios. Okay. Right. And our code 1911 saves you about a third off each package. Packages include a bachelor package, which yeah. would probably be what a pimp would go with. Most likely. Right. The reformed pimp, if you will, yeah. would go with the package that I have. Covers me and my wife and kids. Right. Yeah. He's changed his life. He's yeah. gone a different route. Check them out, guys. If you are a adult and you carry a firearm for self-protection, you should and must have protection. Firearms, legal. Yep. Codes 1911 saves you guys a bunch of money. Check it out.